Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to start creating a chess game. So I have created a repository here in Corge Showcases Corge Chess and I have cloned it here. You can clone that repository or you can start a new project and you can start with the Hello World for example. So I have this is the Hello World template and let's run the application so we can start okay so this is the hello world uh, i'm going to make it full screen so the first thing we are going to do is to download uh, the assets from the store i have uploaded to the store this this asset for chess with the chess pieces on the on the background so let's start by installing them oh, i will have actually to to restart uh, because when downloading new assets it's required so Okay, so here we are again. Uh, okay, so now let's go to the main scene. That's here. Okay, so this is uh, our scene. So here we are going to start over. We are going to use the, the KR and new functionality from from Corge 4.0 point something that supports using the the assets from here. Here we have atlases. Every folder ending with dot atlas is going to appear here as an atlas. So here we have several images, as you can see. And here we are going to open the, the two variants, the chess shadow, we are going to read it, and here we have the images. And here we have all the pieces in white and black, and the backgrounds. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with creating a list with all the pieces in priority order for example choose the pound then bishop then the knight and then maybe the rook the queen and the knight so these are our, our pieces, the black ones. Let me close this. These are the black pieces, and now we are going to do the same with the white. So as we can see here, we have all the pieces, and there are errors somehow. Um, okay, so let's start by putting one piece here, for example, let's start putting the, this piece. We can, we can select between the, the shadow versions on, or the, not, the normal versions from here. Let's use the shadow versions that look nicer for now. And I would also want to create a list of the backgrounds. So here we have two variants for the backgrounds. We have the brown variant and the gray variant. So we are going to use the brown one, the brown and the light, 
uh, and let's start with this. Uh, okay, so the thing is now we are going to create the board. So the board is act by act. So I'm going to iterate in the x and the y, and I'm going to place an image with the background for now. Uh, now we will have to displace the images by this. This is the size of, of this image, as you can see here. So, so yeah. Now let's also uh, intercalate between the dark and the light, so we can differentiate the cells. So let's see for example do we have this odd this odd uh if this is odd this is a boolean let's convert it to integer and let's do this for x plus y so this is the board um and this is the piece we have we can actually put all the pieces Something like this, and we should probably um, change the size of the scene. So let's use a pixelated scene of the board size, that is this one, and then let's do a scene smoothing so the pieces look uh, nicer. Okay, so let's do the same for the white pieces. And, and yeah, this is the first part of the video. Uh, this way we can, well, actually, no, let, let, let's start uh, placing the, um, the pieces better because as you can see here, they are displaced. So, let's start with the black ones so you can see so the thing is uh, these pieces are not uh, exact, exactly the size of the of, of, of the cells so what we are going to do is to scale this a little bit and we are going to center them so we can anchor the matches to the center so now this position is the center as you can see here and not this one probably the latest ones yeah now this the center is here as you can see if we adjust the, an the anchor point this is the anchor point the center and the top left so we are going to place this center here and we are going to do that by offsetting to the center of every cell like this so here so here we can adjust the size of every piece as required let's see say say something like this uh, or something like this but with shadows like this maybe even bigger like this like this looks great and let's do the same for whites so this is this is the first part of of the video um here are, uh, here I explained how to draw everything because I think it's more interesting but you would normally uh, actually create the game without without graphics uh, only with modeling data so I will I will start doing um, that and then we will uh, glue together the those models with with the graphics 